Dear my learned colleague, I'm going to be demonstrating to us to buttress furthermore on what our distinguished uh, professor Peter Kebukola taught us today. I'm going to be doing a small video tutorial on actually how to import from your access to your SPSS. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to open up SPSS application. Yes, so it's loading. Once it's loaded, there are several ways you can also do it. From where you are, you can see create new query using database wizard. Select it and just say okay. It takes you direct to the database wizard as you can see welcome to database wizard now because we are importing from uh, access database ms access database you are going to select it you have no issue or you have nothing to do here has been told us by distinguished professor peter Kibukola. the next thing you will do is you click next as you can see then yeah the system is taking you that you know the name of the file but if you don't know you just click on browse and remember what a distinguished professor had told us he said you should be able to organize your your file appropriately but however the diff once you download the default place where all your files have been downloaded is in the download in the download once you maybe yours we always show desktop but navigate to where you have the download then from the download you can then choose your you can then choose the file so you can see i'm searching for my download this is my download and from my download i can see all the files that have been downloaded so i'm going to adequately click on adequately and I click open then it map it down to adequately from here i'll say okay now if you look at what i'm having here actually what i'm exporting is what is stable it's stable so if you click on this positive sign you are going to see all the tables there as you can see all is there but and i'm using i'm going to move all of them here into this place i'll click it back you can see the cursor changing to a form of add click on it drag it inside and voila all is there if you click finished let's see what will happen once you select finished you can see everything is in here at the data view where as for this id i might not need it so let me clear it off you can see the serial number all that our distinguished professor professor had entered initially so you can see one two you can see the name of school you can see up here the title which is what the name of school then from here you can then begin to do your manual arrangement to look nice you know there are there, there are many you can see the school type public public the class the class is what ss3 ss3 the sex is what male, female and male from there you have it up 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 and down up 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 you can see for electrolysis how is it difficult moderately difficult moderately difficult probiotic table this person said not difficult this person said very difficult and if you continue to move down you see all have now been imported into the spss file a quick one to remind us again is once you open up your SPSS, you can actually navigate from there to the wizard 
or if you have opened your SPSS, you can easily go to file. From file, you see open database. In the open database, you see new query. Click on it, then it gives you this welcome to database wizard. Make sure or ensure that you select MS Access Database. You have nothing, no business here. Just click next. Once you say next, you will see this. Use your cursor to drag it down and everything is shown. Then click finished. Once you are done, you are done. So thank you very much, dear colleague, for, for listening to this small tutorial. Thank you and God.